What is up and welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Johnny Shreve, IFBB Pro, Mr. Telic it is. Today, guys, I'm gonna give you all of my secrets on how to create your own training program. I'm gonna lose myself a lot of money now and that just shows you guys how much I care about you and make sure you guys have all the things you need to succeed. Programming isn't as complicated as it seems. I now I say this being a coach and having 30 years of training experience, literally. Jeez, I feel old. Now, what is the first thing people are the most confused about? Let's just sit there and guess. Thought about yet? How many exercises do we program that day? That's probably the most asked question I get when it comes to training programs. I get a video consult, you can bring in, you know, whatever you're doing, and I basically say, hey, what you're doing is pretty good. Let's change a couple things like this. Or I'll say, what are you doing? That's a lot of stuff. And for the most part, when I do video consults and people show me their plans, I look at their plans and I'm like, and I'm not being, Dutch, I'd be rude. You just said you watch my channel. Like, like most of you guys are getting consults are either watching myself, Dr. Mike, Jeff Nippard, Eric Janicki. You're watching coaches. You're watching coaches. And we've all said some very similar things on the same lines of how many movements do you really need to do a day. Made it very clear to me that you still don't understand. That's completely fine. Because guess what? You're not supposed to know. You're not supposed to know these things. Who's supposed to know these things? The coaches are. The strength conditioning coaches, the professors, the exercise physiologists, the exercise scientists, all those people, they're supposed to know. We're supposed to make it easy for you guys to apply to your life. Otherwise, you're gonna continue to keep buying plans from us, which I don't mind that. And doing this seems to be counterintuitive for my business. Number one, we know that a muscle, be the bicep, the tricep, the quads, chest, back, all the muscles, all the muscles. They do one to three actions. What do I mean by actions? They do one to three things. They do one to three movements, meaning easy for the bicep. We have the bicep, we get the long head, the short head, the brachiad, the brach, the battle. We have all the brachies. And what does it do mostly? Primarily, it brings my hand up like this. It flexes my elbow, but it also does flip my wrist over it supinates my my hand and it does it does this and this so there's like two things there's two things that the bicep does uh, let's go to the tricep well we got three of them all right we got the we got this head that head and the other head right there's no point to be telling you exactly how many like what the head's names are just look at this thing here is it see a tricep you got this head you got this head and you got this little tiny head here all right when it comes down to it, even having three heads of my tricep, it primarily does this. It does elbow extension and it does help with shoulder extension as well. So it does kind of bring your arm back a bit. So when you're doing, you know, kickbacks, you're getting a nice little squeeze when your arm is back that way, a nice little stretch. So the chest does about one to three things. There's three other movements there. It does primarily adduction, it does shoulder flexion, like it pulls the shoulder up, and it does pull the shoulder down. So there's three things right there. Well, let's check the back. What was the back, Johnny? The back's got like, there's a thousand muscles in the back. Okay, well, the back does what? Okay, so our lats, the big muscles underneath the armpits that go all the way down to your hip, or they depress your shoulder, they do this, it, and they kind of around your shoulder like that too, primarily. Well, what about the other muscles? Okay, well, let's look at the, the mid traps, the rhomboids, the delt, so to speak. Well, it takes your scaps and does this. Pulls it back like this, depressing your shoulder as well too, but primarily, it's gonna take your shoulder blades and it's gonna retract them. What about the erector, what about that muscle, your lower back muscle? Well, that's gonna help extend your body. It's gonna help extend your torso. It's gonna take you like this, and it's gonna help you go like this. There's three things right there. Right? The back, we can say three exercises. The chest, we can say three exercises. The biceps, we can say two exercises. The triceps, we can say two exercises. What were the legs? Okay? Man, I'm giving everything away. Whew. Y'all better support this channel and like it or, and subscribe and hit that bell button. You better. Because after this, I might be out of business. The quads. We have a bunch of muscles in the legs. What does it primarily do? Extends the knee. It extends the knee. It might do a couple other things, but primarily if you're trying to build muscle, it's extending the knee. If we want to isolate the quad, all we got to do is just straighten that leg. 
That's it. What about the hamstrings? Well, if we want to strengthen the hamstrings, we want to isolate the hamstrings. <laughs> Why do I say it like that? If we want to isolate the hamstrings, what do we do? Flexion. We just bend the knee back. It bends the knee. It flexes the knee. So right away, when we're trying to program, we know that exercise wise, let's just say for instance, we're doing chest. All right, we got chest. We have three exercises for chest and we got two exercises or even one exercise for triceps. We can do two, we can do two. Nothing wrong with doing two, but you don't need four. You don't need three, you really don't. I'm gonna give you guys a crown jewels on a program, most efficiently. So here we got chest. Let's, what is what does your chest day look like? Let's say we got some kind of a machine press. Maybe it's a flat machine press. Maybe it's a Smith machine. 15 degree press, bam, that's your first exercise. Second exercise, uh, maybe we do some kind of a dumbbell press, or maybe we do a incline press of some sort. Maybe we say 30 degree incline, whether it be, maybe it's dumbbells, maybe it's machine. I don't know, it's just another pressing exercise we're hitting, we're hitting the pec major and the pec minor. And then what do we got? Or let's finish her off with some, maybe cable flies, or pec deck, or maybe even dips. Maybe we want to hit the lower part of our chest and as well as every other part of our chest. And we do cable flies coming from high to low or we're doing dips. It's going to help similarly. Either way, there's three exercises you have right there. And then, then, we, then, then what do we do? We have, we have triceps now. What do we do for triceps? Triceps, guess what? We're going to do, maybe we do uh, an overhead cable extension. Put a nice little stretch on that, on the long head of the tricep. Oh, we do some of those and then we finish off with a basic cable tricep extension, whether it's for the rope or the easy bar or whatever. Bam, there you got it. There's your first day. We have the framework of here's our exercises. Here's how many exercises we're gonna do for our chest and our triceps. All right, now what about like sets, reps, rest, tempo? Johnny, there's way more to go. Hey guys, we're gonna go back to our regular principles of hypertrophy building muscle. I did a video a few weeks ago and it's how many sets do you really need to do in a day? Well, science says, ding, three to 12 hard sets in a day. All right, cool. Perfect. We'll check it out. We need three to three to 12 hard sets in a day and one to five sets per muscle group. And what does that mean? One to five sets? Well, let's put it this way. If I only do two tricep exercises, do I need to do five sets for each? No, right? We only have to do three, two, 12 hard sets. So if I do five in each, well, I did 10, but is that necessary? Not that, not, not quite. We could probably do maybe say three to four, right? Three to four hard sets for triceps. And we've already been working our triceps, probably secondary when we're doing our chest. So we don't have to do as much either way. That's what it means by one to five sets per exercise. Now, we have our three primary exercises for chest. We know that it's three to 12 hard sets. You're a beginner, we're gonna do a little more. You're advanced, you could probably do a little less. But let's make math completely easy. Check this out. You got three exercises. You have 12 hard sets being the max, right? the max, and we want to get the maximum amount of muscle we can build without overtraining and doing useless junk volume, we'll check it out. What's 12 divided by three? Four. We got four hard sets for each. Now, you don't have to be even like that. You can say, hey, I want, I'm gonna do three hard sets for one exercise, and I'll do maybe another three hard sets for the next, another exercise, and I'm gonna do six hard sets for the last exercise, or maybe I only do four hard sets. Remember, it's a range between three to 12 hard sets. But again, we wanna make things super easy, super simple, without you thinking too much about it, we're gonna do the max. We're gonna do four sets for each exercise. So now what do you do with our accessory work, with our triceps? Again, you can do, we have two exercises, you can do, you can do four sets for each. Bam, there you go. Four hard sets for each exercise, for each chest exercise, and you got four hard sets for each tricep exercise. Now we got it. We have the exercise down. We have how many exercises we need to do. We have how many sets we need to do. Now talk about reps. How many reps we need to do? I did a video on this, check it out. Six to 12 reps. That's your, little, that's your sweet spot. But again, we need to make sure we understand what these six to 12 reps look like. 
because 6 to 12 reps can look like very quick reps. We're talking about maximizing muscle hypertrophy, maximizing muscle growth. What do you want to do? Well, your rep is going to look like this. 2 to 4 second negative, a 1 to 2 second concentric pause or positive pause. Let's put it this way. We're doing a 2 to 4 seconds on the way down, a 1 second hold, and a 1 to maybe 2 seconds on the way up. That's what your 6 to 12 reps look like. Let's just do the math really quick. Let's just take the higher end of it, all right? Four second negative, one to two second pause at the bottom, and a one second up, two second up. What is that? Eight sets, eight seconds for one rep. Between that, that's the higher end. If you go down to the lower end, two second negative, one second pause in a hole, one second contraction, four reps. Any four seconds. Anything between four to eight seconds is your sweet spot. We're going to keep it there. There you have it. Let's go from the top. We have how many exercises we need. So now we know how many exercises we need. Let's just say it's back. Since I already said chest, put it this way. We have a one exercise. We have three exercises. We have a pull down from the top, a high row or a high pull, a horizontal pull, a horizontal row. And then we have a bent over row or, or we have a bent over row of some sort. Biceps. Maybe we do one, one bicep exercise, or maybe we do two. Maybe we want to do a hammer curl and a supinated curl. There we go. We have our full exercise. What our reps look like. What our sets look like. All right, cool. We have four. We have four sets of pull downs. Four sets of horizontal row. Four sets of bent over row. And then we have four sets of hammer curls and four sets of supinated curls. Bam. All right, cool. Now, what do reps look like? Reps wise, rep wise, we're gonna go six to twelve reps. Six to twelve reps of each. Let's just say let's just keep six to twelve reps just for the back exercises. You're doing a two to four second negative, a one second pause at the stretch, a one second pause at the squeeze or the positive contraction. And then maybe on biceps, you wanna increase that rep. Maybe you wanna go a little higher, that's fine. But as long as that rep is a long duration, because if you look at it, we take the sets, we said between four to eight second rep basically. Well, what's four times the bottom range of your reps. Well, four times six is 24 seconds. So when it comes to reps, we have six to 12, six to 12 reps, two to four second negative, one second pause of the positive contraction or the squeeze, and a one second pause of the negative contraction or the stretch or the lengthened contraction. What about rest? Well, we're gonna rest anything between one to two minutes, pushing three if you need it, because we know prior video that one to two minutes is great. After that, if we're dicking around too much, we're decreasing our ability to create more muscle tension or hypertrophy starts to dwindle. It's not, you're, you're, you're not getting as much hypertrophy when you're resting longer. So we're gonna rest that sweet spot of one to two minutes. And if you're not fully recovered, we're gonna push it to three, but eventually you're gonna condition enough that you can recover between one to two minutes. There is, your basic, super simple way to put together a training plan. I'm saying that like I think it's super easy, but guess what? I think now that I explain it, where you guys can see a good visual of it, that is super easy for you guys too. Now, guess what? No more guessing. You can still buy a plan for me. You can still get some coaching from me as well too. You can still join my school group, all those things. If you want to make your own plan and, and go to my school group and, and ask me if, hey, does this look right? And I'll be like, sure does, and I'll correct it. Either way, I just want to give those crown jewels to you guys so you guys can be empowered to create your own plans. And then if you need some help and need some reassurance, book yourself a video consult with myself. One hour consult, you go over everything, training, nutrition, supplementation, and then health. Either way, we'll talk about your plan. That was literally the best plug I ever did in my life. Either way, now you guys have the power. Now you guys can make your own training plan and now you can make the gains on your own. But still come back to the channel and watch some more of these great videos. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. You know the come with that tug, it is transparent, vulnerable truth. And guys, hit the description below for those discount codes and promo codes that save your life or change your life for the better. Join my Discord group, or if you want to get a little more in depth, join my school community as well too. Anyway guys, make sure you guys add me on Instagram and TikTok. Send me your progress pics, your training pics, and your video clips, and I'll repost it for you, because you know how it is. Iron Sharp is Iron, progressive overall in your life. In the meantime, keep changing.